So we start. Today we're going to look at what does the OLS do? Please remember, the objective that we have is we have the conditional mean of y given x is equal to xi is alpha plus beta xi from which it follows that yi is alpha plus beta xi plus ei because here we are positing the conditional mean of y given xi as a linear function of xi. yi is an individual value of yi. This is the conditional mean function and this is the gap between each individual value of y and the conditional mean of y given x is equal to xi. Now we can look at the regression problem in two different perspectives. One is to find an estimate of the values of alpha and beta. Alpha and beta are the population parameters. The population parameters are not random variables because they are fixed. So our idea is to obtain from the given sample estimates of alpha and beta. That is one perspective. The second perspective would be simply to minimize, to find alpha and beta so as to minimize the gap between yi and alpha plus beta xi in a given sample. The second problem is called the least squares problem, which is the problem of minimizing the sum of squares in a given sample. The first problem is the problem of estimating alpha and beta. Now, both the problems are not necessarily equivalent unless some conditions are satisfied. And that is what we are going to look at today. Let us first start with the problem of minimizing the sum of squares. Let me point you to an interesting fact. Suppose x1, x2, x3, xn are some numbers. And I want to find a number x star such that summation xi minus x star square is minimized. Right. So what are we trying to do? We are trying to find the value x star such that the distance between all the observations and x star is as small as possible. How do you achieve this? You achieve this by, max by differentiating this function with respect to x star and setting the derivative equal to 0. So if you differentiate this with respect to x star, you get implying x bar is x star. Sure? From which two things follow. What follows is you must have, so basically x star is the value which minimizes or x bar is the value which minimizes the sum of the distances of all observations from x bar. The other property that x bar will have, because x bar will satisfy this equation, summation xi minus x bar is equal to 0 the sum of the deviations around x bar will be equal to 0. Right. Now how does this help us in a problem of estimating alpha and beta? I want to find the conditional mean of y given x from which it follows that I must minimize I must minimize this which is minimizing okay so let's start with the simplest problem and we can see for example that if you minimize this if you find alpha and beta then you will be able to get the parameters of the conditional 
expectations function. You get the parameters of the conditional expectations function. Okay. Let us first simplify the problem by thinking of yi as simply beta xi plus ei. So we, 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 we forget alpha at the moment. Okay. And simply differentiate with respect to beta. So the problem is find beta which will minimize this. Okay. So if you differentiate this with respect to beta, you get which is equal to because minus 2 cannot be 0, this whole thing has to be 0, you get summation xi yi or we have Yeah. Now, obviously, this is not the real population beta because the population beta does not depend upon the sample size. The population beta is fixed. Population beta is fixed, right? Whereas, this beta is a function of the particular xi, yi's that I have got. What are xi, yi's? The values in the sample. The particular values that we get in the sample are obviously outcomes of a random experiment and therefore beta must also be an outcome of a random experiment. So beta is a random variable. To note that, we put a crow on top. So beta crow is an estimator of the true value of beta. Right? A particular value of beta will be an estimate, whereas this formula is the estimator of a particular value of beta. Now, how does this generalize? Suppose I now, want to look at the more general problem where there is an intercept. So y is equal to yeah, alpha plus beta xi plus ei. How does this formula, summation xi yi is equal to upon summation xi square, uh, you know, gen generalize for a situation where there is an intercept. To do this, what I have is, so realize that if I write, if I write, if I write expectation of yi is equal to alpha plus beta expectation ei because expectation ei is equal to 0. Now let me subtract this equation from this equation. So I have yi minus expectation yi, alpha alpha will cancel out beta into whole bracket xi minus expectation xi plus ei. Okay, just to make this clear. Okay. Now, do I have expectation yi? No. But I can replace that expectation yi by the sample counterpart, which is y bar. So I have yi minus y bar is beta xi minus x bar plus ei. Now you see, there is the same problem as the past, this, if I rub out beta, it's the same problem if I think of yi minus y bar as yi, if I think of xi minus x bar as xi. So the formula for beta hat will now be, I'll have to replace xi by xi minus x bar, replace yi by yi minus y bar, and replace again xi minus you know, you get xi minus x bar square. So beta hat really now is nothing but if you divide this by n and if you divide this by n, you get the covariance between x and y divided by the variance of x. So beta hat is the co-movement in x and y per unit movement in x, whereas beta is the change in y per unit change in x. Beta hat, the estimator, is the estimated covariance between x and y divided by the variance of x. How does one get a value for alpha? The value for alpha can be obtained like this. I know that expectation yi is alpha plus beta expectation xi plus ei. I'm sorry, not ei. 
expectation x i. Right? Okay. Now let me replace expectation y i by y bar because that is all that I have in the sample. Is equal to alpha for beta I have beta hat an estimator. For expectation x i, I have x bar. So I get y bar minus beta hat x bar is equal to alpha. But because y bar, beta hat, x bar are all sample estimates, this must also be an estimator. So I get y bar minus beta hat x bar is equal to alpha hat. That's my OLS estimator for alpha hat. Okay. How does this generalize to the more multiple linear regression context? As follows. Remember, the condition we got by minimizing with respect to beta was This is simply the condition xi is equal to 0. Okay. Now, think of a more general linear regression model. Think of a more general linear regression model where I have yi is equal to alpha plus beta 1 x1i one beta 2 z2i two plus ei. This model, as all of you know, can be written as y1, y2, y3. Suppose we have got only five values of y. y1, y2, y3, y4, y5. This can be written as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Obviously, you will not have five values, but just to keep the presentation clear, I am doing that. x1, x2, x3, x4. Okay, 